I made 100,000 Robux. And the crazy part about it is that this was my first legitimate commission I did on Roblox. Absolutely insane. Like most people, they'll start doing small commissions in the beginning, like 100 Robux or whatever. And then they'll start building up, building their portfolio and all that. And then reach out to big developers and maybe work on games to make a lot more Robux than whatever I made. So how does this happen? Well, a few years ago, I was doing a lot of schoolwork and a bit of game developing, but because of a lot of schoolwork, I didn't have much time to do game developing, and I was bored as heck while just doing work and studying for tests constantly. And at that time, I was just like, you know what, I just want to do something fun, and I just want to, you know, just spice things a bit up. So while I was on the Hidden Developer Discord group, I noticed there was this cool thing where people are hiring other people of certain expertise to um, do some certain tasks in return for some Robux and PayPal. And I was like, hey, you know, this might be a cool thing. Maybe I should just give it a shot or whatever, right? So that's what I did. And I found a simple task where someone wanted another person to make 10 different food items in return for some Robux and PayPal. So I was like, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll do that. And I signed up for it and that person hired me. Now here comes the weird thing. I don't know why, but this person did not ask me for my portfolio. And that's really weird because you don't want it to be some douchebag who doesn't know anything. So yeah, it was kind of weird that he accepted me immediately. Uh, but I just kind of like ignore that. And he just gave me some task and I was like, okay, um, I'll just make 10 different food items for you and in return 2,000 Robux and he agreed with me I agreed with him and we we're like, okay, okay And then I told him that I would finish it within a couple days and Immediately after that I started getting working on it because I was like man This is such a good deal and as first commission I was like I better do a good job because I want to make myself look good so what I did is just immediately got into Blender, started modeling all those food, texturing them, and a few hours later, I DM'd him telling him like, oh, I'm finished. And here comes the big issue. Oh boy. This dude had the audacity to cancel me. Not like the internet cancel, like he canceled my task, like the whole commission. He literally told me that he had a new game idea, a freaking new game idea. And he was like, oh yeah, you know, I got a new game idea. And because of that, you know, I kind of want you to model more things for this new game idea because you know, I'm kind of ditching my old game idea. So can you please do that? And I was like, frick no, what is wrong with you? Are you kidding me? You, you basically like hired me to make food for you and we both agreed to it. <laughs> What is this? And he agreed that he would give me 2k Robux. And I was like, your logic doesn't make sense. So I DM'd him and I was like, no. And I don't know why, but out of nowhere, he changes his tone from just a mediocre, just calm dude. And he just started cussing like a little kid. Like he just started saying the n-word and all that. And I was like, bro, chill. <laughs> like, I don't know, but like after a while of cussing, he he literally blocked me. Not even me blocking him because he was being so rude to me. So after he blocked me because like he knows that he just scammed me, I I was just so mad because first of all, I spent like so many hours just working on a commission, and this was my first commission. Like oh my gosh, getting scammed on my first commission. That's crazy so after that i just went into the discord channel and i basically filed a report on him and i was like get this dude banned get this dude banned we need him out we need him out he's bad for the community and yeah voila a few days later he got banned and i was i never seen him a day later so after that um first time getting scammed um i just didn't want to do commissions anymore because it left a really bad aftertaste and i was just like if I'm gonna get scammed like this that easily, then probably 
most of the people that are hiring people are not that trustworthy. Which obviously, I don't think that's true. I think there are a lot of great people in the community. For the next couple weeks, I didn't really do anything, just more schoolwork. But, I was actually making a YouTube video. Basically, I was making this uh, video on a rocks tutorial. Basically, um, how to make stylized texture. And I posted it on the, the hidden developer discord and shared it as a creation. And I got a lot of like likes and I was like, oh, that's cool. Uh, a lot of people like this. And then I think a day later, someone DM'd me and he said, can you please model for me? Um, just make all the assets for a tycoon game and I'll give you 75k Robux. 75k, that's a lot. At that time, I was like, nah, I'm gonna get scammed. There is no way this person's legit. So I read through everything, everything sounded pretty cool, and I was like, yeah, sorry man, um, you see, I don't have time for that, so I probably um, can't work for, for you. Boring. But this person was different. He continued to ask me, like ask if he really wanted me. As we continue to DM, there's one subtle difference I noticed from him from the scammer. He was like a literal businessman straight to the point know what he's doing and he was giving all these detailed information compared to the other dude he didn't even ask the portfolio this dude did and even though i wasn't like really wanting to like sign up for this um but you know i was like you know what i can show my portfolio because you know that's kind of cool maybe i can just get to know other people Thank you. <laughs> what the heck what about me i got you I don't feel safe potato. here. Oh my god, you weigh so much, potato. I know what that's it. I'm killing all of us. Wait, what? No. 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 <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Anyways, I shared some of my works and all that, and we just continued to talk. And honestly, at that point, I thought this person was genuine. Like, maybe, maybe, there's someone I can trust in the internet. Maybe. I basically took his job, um, he asked me to um, do some stuff before actually starting the task because I didn't have this um, cartoonish style in my modeling. So I decided to work on this tiny model I made for him uh, just to show that I was capable of making these kind of low poly shades mood uh, models. And after that, he said, ooh that looks great. So. Right off the bat, I started working on it. He started giving a crap ton of details on what he wants, which was absolutely great. And about like every two days, I would be like updating him with the stuff I was making. And this kind of went on for like a few weeks. Now, into the few weeks, um, I managed to finish everything. He said, um, yeah, perfect. Um, you made all these models. It looks great and everything. Uh, we did all of these edits together and I'll DM this person, 89.5. Um, if you don't know this person, 89.5, he basically is the creator of the Hospital Tycoon game and also um, Base Raiders. When I heard about this, I was like really surprised because my friend and I used to play a crap ton of Base Raiders. Like, I think it would be like every day in the morning. We have Chinese school, but at the same time, we were on a computer just kind of afk grinding on base raiders like holy crap i'm working uh, for this person who actually made one of my favorite games so after that um i just kind of got through everything and they gave me a hundred k robots it wasn't even 75 k a hundred k i don't know why they gave me a hundred k i think um it's because the, the tycoon i was creating was much more work and Afterwards, um, I was so hyped up and I sent him my models, all that, and everything was perfect. Well, that's basically how I made 100k Robux. And I didn't really go over too much details because there are like so many things that actually happen during while I was doing the commission, but it's kind of boring to just talk about some of the stuff that I did. So I'll only um, explain just like the main parts. But anyways, um, here is just like um, a minute to two minute um, clip of the whole entire commission. So I'm just gonna um, just show a montage.
And yeah. Tatanohira no nezu dake. 